Welcome to part two of my Indigenous Taiwanese netbag tutorial. In this part, we're going to be going over how to set up your hook and your string, how to get started, and how you're going to be doing the base of your netbag. So let's go. So for this part, the materials you're going to be needing are scissors, your two sticks, your crochet hook, and then whichever color of string you want for the bottom part of your netbag. Alright, so first things first, before we're actually going to be able to do any crocheting, we first have to set up our hook and the string. So take whichever string you want for the bottom of your bag and take your hook and we're going to quickly show you how to wrap the hook with the string. So now to start wrapping your string, you're just going to be holding your hook up vertically like this and you're going to take your thumb and hold the end of your string in the middle of your hook right there. So the string is going to go over through the open hole. You're going to take one finger and poke it through the close hole and grab it out the other side. And then this is going to go once again over the open hole with one side over through the open hole and one side on the outside of it. And that's just going to be pulled so that it wraps right around the limb right there. And from here, it goes through the open hole again. You turn it around and you pass it through again. You just keep on doing this until you got a whole bunch of string onto your crochet hook. Now again from a different angle, you're going to go through that open hole and wrap it around. Pass the string through, grab it over on the other side, pull some of that through, pass it over the open hole again, and pull it back down. Okay, now we've got a whole bunch of string wrapped on there. We could just quickly cut that off now and we are ready to start. So when I talk about the bottom of the bag I'm referring to this portion right here where you can see there's a transition between sort of the sides of the bag and this sort of base area and we're going to be doing this strip right here. All right, something I have to quickly mention here is that when you're actually crocheting this part and you get to the final product of this stage, you're not actually making the length of the net bag. You're making what the length would be when the net bag is completely outstretched. So say when you're making something like this, this is going to be completely outstretched and realistically, you're only going to get a net bag more or less around this wide. All right, so now since we've got this all wrapped up, we can actually start our crocheting. So what we're going to do first is take our string right here and just very simply tie a slip knot. So we'll be going through here and just a very simple knot over the other side of the string. There we go, and so this can slip up and down. Then we're going to take one of our sticks right here slide the slip knot over and take your right hand and just kind of tighten it loosely onto this uh, stick. Now we don't want it super tight, we just want it moderately tight right there. So next what we're going to do is we're going to put the string right over the stick, put a finger onto the other side of the stick so it doesn't slip off the end, and take our crochet hook and pass it behind that string right there and right on through. And we're going to do this however many times, and the more times you do it, the thicker the bottom of the bag will be. So I've just continued that pattern a total of five times, and therefore I've made six knots on the bottom right here. So from here, we are ready to start actually tying knots with our crochet hook. So first things first, we're going to flip this around, and then we're going to take our second sick, and place it right behind our standing end. Now from here, we're going to try and put our hook right through the middle of these two strings on the bottom. And we're going to hook our standing end from the bottom of the second stick and pull it through. Now from here, we are going to have three strings. We're going to take this one in the back and pull it 
over to the top or the front of our second stick as opposed to the back. From here, our crochet hook can go through these two strings and you can just pull it until you make it tight. And that will make a little knot right there like that. So I'm going to go over the knot making process one more time. It's just a little bit later along, so it's a bit easier to see now. So we'll be going through the loop right here, grabbing our string from behind our stick and pulling it through. Now this will create three strings, one behind and two in front. We're going to bring the one from behind to in front of the stick. From here, we're going to open up this loop and stick our pinky through it and then we can pull our crochet hook through that. And we make sure this part up here is aligned with all the other knots. We'll grab on top to make sure it's secure, and then just pull tight. And then we've made a little knot right there. So then we're just going to be continuing this pattern all the way down to the right. Now one thing to notice right here as I'm just tying this knot is that for especially the first line here, I always want to try and make these knots go in one straight line and for this first line it's really easy to do, you just keep these two sticks parallel to each other as you tie them tight. And there we go. Now when you get to the final knot here on this side where the slip knot is, you're going to actually want to, rather than tying it right in the middle right there, is you want to try and tie it just to the right of the knot, so on this side. And there we go, we've just finished tying all of our knots. Now for this side where the slip knot is, we can actually just quickly clip off that loose string. So from here to continue going down, we're going to flip this over, take our second stick out, and place it right behind our standing end once again. Now from here we're going to be tying the exact same knots, just instead we'll be going through these loops we've just made. Then again once you get to the end, flip it around, take the stick out, put it behind your standing end, and keep going. After doing this for a while, you eventually start getting the hang of making these knots, and you can do them a lot quicker with uh, muscle memory. Now once you start running out of string here, all you have to do for more string is pull this through, over, and pull this loop through that hole, and then you have a whole bunch more string to work with. Now part of the way through, you can really see how that bottom part is coming along right there see all of these little lines of knots and they all form these little diamonds. So we'll just keep going on this until it's as long as we want. All right and with that we are now finished the bottom of our net bag. Alright, so now we've got the base of our net bag completed, and that will do it for this part of the tutorial. Join me in part 3, right around here-ish somewhere when it comes out, for how to actually start building up the net bag and getting into that full square or rectangle, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, again, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this content to see more of it, and goodbye.